the 151 reprint is confirmed what should you do should you panic sell should you buy right now should you wait let's talk about it okay so the news broke a few days ago i'm really late to talk about it um a lot of other people have already posted videos but like always i'm gonna throw my opinion out here however if you haven't heard let's talk about what's being printed Pokey beach put out a pretty nice little article here to sum everything up and basically on the english side of things 151 We'll have a Blooming Waters Premium Collection that will release in the U.S., Europe, and a few other countries in February of 2025. This thing will contain 12 booster packs, which I find interesting because that puts it at, I think, the second largest 151 product, right, with the packs inside of it. The UPC has the most with um, 16, I believe, maybe 14. And then you have Pokemon Center ETBs, which are 11 now. I always forget how many Pokemon Center are, but it's less than 12, pretty certain. The normal ETBs, and then, of course, it just kind of goes down from there with the 151 products. So 12 is a pretty big number, and they also have four promos. Hopefully, they are unique promos and not just, like, old promos that we see them do with some boxes, like the Crowns and the Sea and Sky boxes. Those are just old promos they throw in there. A Jumbo card and a Code card. So pretty... Sounds like a pretty good product, to be honest with you. I definitely want to be able to pick these up as long as I can find them or they're at a decent price online because I have a feeling they're going to be gone like that. These things are going to be swallowed up. Um, they're probably going to print them pretty heavily too, but I, I still think they're going to swallow. Everything's going to get swallowed up because we're in like a Pokemon boom. I'm going to make a video talking about this recent Pokemon boom that we're seeing because I think it's pretty interesting. So. Stay tuned for that. Don't know if it'll be next video or um, probably sometime next week. But either way, yeah, like I said, these things when they drop in February, you might they might be hard to find. I don't think that they're going to be sitting on shelves for very long, and mainly because 151 has seen that boom that we're uh, seeing in the whole Pokemon market, but 151 especially the last two weeks, and maybe this will chill out now that it's been announced. There's more packs coming. But we'll see. So, uh, more about this product is it could be a Venusaur and Blastoise kind of double collection, which would be really cool. Um, that's kind of what I'm hoping for because that'd be just a cool box to keep. And then, or Vile Plume has a full blooming energy ability. If they, if they release a Vile Plume collection, premium collection. What are we doing? But it also has, like, I don't think it's going to be Vile Plume. But the other big 151 news is a Japanese reprint in December. That's pretty soon. Now, I'm kind of sad about this because I did just buy $100 worth of Japanese singles. I talked about it literally last week. I was like, all this English is booming. Japanese already got a reprint. I'm going to buy up some singles um, because it might not get reprinted again. We saw the huge Japanese reprint this earlier this year. And then... Less than a week after I say that, and after I buy some singles, uh, another reprint is announced. Unfortunate, but I'm in it for the long haul, so I'm not really too worried about losing a few dollars on some singles. And plus, they're ones that I didn't have, so I'm just adding them to the collection. Let's talk about the 151 booster boxes, because right now they're sitting at 100. They've been here for a decent time, about a month, almost two months. September, they were at 98. And as you can see, I've talked about this graph a lot, but earlier this year, they're up to 200. And then they reprinted the heck out of them. And in June, they're all the way down to 60. I'm not sure what the size of this reprint will be. All that information is usually kept uh, pretty tight lipped. Nobody, nobody knows that information. But I will say if they drop to below 70 or just like at 70, I'm definitely going to buy maybe my first case ever of anything because i've never really bought a case worth of stuff but if they're like 70 bucks a box i might pick up a lot i like japanese 151 just because you can get the whole booster box i mean we've seen them be 200 dollars boxes before and a reprint doesn't really scare me especially if you're in it for the long haul if you're looking for quick gains you might not get that with this reprint but if you're in it for the long haul i mean they'll definitely be here at some point once they finally stop reprinting these and this might be the last one so hopefully it is Hopefully they, they drop from 100 to like 70, even 80, I'd be all right with. But if it's anything like the last one, they should drop and buy low, sell high. So if you want any Japanese 151, whenever this reprint happens in December, be on the lookout. Try to find yourself a good deal. 
and buy up while it's low. And hopefully, maybe this is the last 151 Japanese reprint. I was hoping for another English one, but I'd be all right with no more Japanese ones. But the Japanese market is a whole different story compared to the 151 English market. And then talking about some other products, like we saw all the singles of English just take this huge leap pretty much all throughout this month. And I'm not sure what's going to happen here until this reprint. If they'll just kind of steady out until the reprint and then drop or if they're about to drop instantly but sorry to you guys who kind of fomoed on these and bought some i'm pretty sure some of these charizards were selling for over uh 200 high sale 240 <laughs> i shouldn't laugh but i'm sorry whoever bought their card at 240 but yeah i wouldn't really be interested in buying any of these singles at the moment especially since something like this just got announced with 12 packs in it these aren't going to be like scarce but like i said we're in a big boom so people might just be stocking up on them so they could be but i'm hoping they print a lot of these and single prices will drop at that point it's just until we got we got like three four months until then so honestly i just wouldn't even be buying any cards until that drop of the new uh premium collection because theoretically some of these singles should drop as more supply gets onto the market however i know i don't know if this is a fact but i read it in comment sections all the time people say that reprints have worse pull rates which could affect card prices if you know there's more supply but there's not any charge on exs being pulled who knows i don't know if that's true i don't i don't really think it's true because like crown zenith got reprinted or technically with those sea and sky boxes and those boxes were full of hits so i don't know if that's true all the time we're talking about this reprint but i haven't really seen any confirming information on whether it's just this blooming waters premium collection that's going to be out or if we're going to see some of these other items also in stores like bundle booster bundles poster collections and any of the other collection boxes so if you know that let me know in the comments i'm not completely sure if these are all just gonna end up in stores as well or if it's just the premium collections being released but like i would love it if upcs got released again so i could maybe buy a upc a little bit lower than 200 bucks and some of these lower than 50 I, i'd like it if these got down to like 35 40 bucks again from what i've seen it's just this blooming waters collection which i'm not mad at that either like i well like i've been showing you 12 packs in it and if you can get at msrp it's gonna be a really good buy so however with more packs in the market all these should drop a little bit but maybe not a crazy amount since it's not the specific product you know what i'm saying but yeah i'm not really confident in any 151 purchases until these reprints you know it's it's a weird area like right before a reprint on whether or not you should buy stuff and right now i would say no because we just saw this huge spike you're buying pretty high if there's going to be a restock slash reprint of packs and cards theoretically they should drop supply and demand baby well yeah these cards we can see what we've seen what they can do but a reprint should hit these and drop them all a little bit. Speaking of 151, I did just get this in the mail like yesterday. I finally picked it up. Been on my wish list for a while. More of a personal buy for me, but it is near mint and it looks great. And I got this um at 29, so below before the big uh, boom because I think it was yeah, it was sitting around here before the big boom. Sitting right at 30. This one really only increased a few bucks. I got it like maybe not 29, maybe like 30, 31. So I'm happy with that purchase at near mint too. Yeah, on eBay, I ordered a bunch of Japanese singles. Like I almost master set the whole thing with a hundred bucks. I gave myself a hundred bucks. I have several of them. They've came in so far. You got like Needle King, Mewtwo in there. There's a Mew full art somewhere, some Squirtles. It's unfortunate because if it's a fat reprint like the last one, Japanese will all drop. However, I might pick up a few more singles as well as boxes then if all the singles drop because I don't mind Japanese cards, especially with 151. I'll let you guys know when all that happens though. Like I'm very transparent. If you're new to the channel, I pretty much tell you exactly what I buy every month. And 
I'm a more of a smaller investor as well. I'm not buying cases worth of stuff every month. So I feel like I'm more, you know, connected to the average investor with the amount of stuff I buy and the amount of money I uh, budget myself per month. So, but yeah, that's the 151 reprint. I don't have anything else much to say. I'll probably make more videos as more information gets released. I'm excited for this. I just said last week I really wanted a reprint and why a reprint doesn't matter because these will just all get bought up. All these new boxes will just get eaten up by the market. Everybody is wanting 151 right now and that hype is not going to die down before February. So I'm excited. It's going to be fun. Hopefully we can all get our hands on some more 151 products, boxes, and maybe even be able to rip open some packs. So let me know your thoughts on this reprint in the comments as always. See you next video.